before birth and in their first few years of life, what a child goes through helps to shape the way their brain develops. A child's genetics provides a plan, but how the child sees, hears and feels the world affects how that plan unfolds. What happens to a child can either help or get in the way of their healthy development. Babies are born with billions of brain cells, called neurons, but only some of these are connected with each other at birth. Over the first few years, many more neurons connect, and they send electrical signals to communicate with each other. These connections form pathways, and they become the foundations of how the brain is built. These pathways increase faster and get stronger the more they are used. A child's experiences and relationships with others influence which pathways and which connections get more use. Those that are used more grow stronger and can last longer. For example, the more talking, stories and singing a child hears, the stronger their language skills will be. Meanwhile, connections that are used less fade away through a normal process called pruning. Well-used pathways allow messages to travel quickly across the brain. Simple pathways form first, providing the building blocks for new, more advanced pathways. Just like learning to talk, first a child makes sounds, then they can say words, then sentences and so on. In this way, neurons develop strong connections for feelings, movement, language, memory, and many other things while our children are very young. Like a well-used path, with more use, these pathways become stronger and connect to other parts of the brain faster. Each skill is connected to the others. Like building a house where strong foundations are important to support the rest of the house, a child's experiences in the early years lay the foundations for their later learning and well-being. It is never too late to start building these pathways with your child. <laughs>